Good morning, everybody. Please allow me to share with you a passage of Scripture. The passage of Scripture I want to share with you is John chapter 16 and verse 7 down. Let me read it for you. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. By the way, this was Yeshua, or Jesus Christ speaking. For if I do not go away, the Helper will not come to you. But if I depart, I will send him to you. And when he has come, he will convict the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment of sin because they do not believe in me, of righteousness because I go to my Father and you see me no more, of judgment because the ruler of this world is judge. I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. However, when he, the Spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all truth, for he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak, and he will tell you things to come. He will glorify me, for he will take of what is mine and declare it to you. All things that the Father has are mine. Therefore I said that he will take of mine and declare it to you. A little while, and you will not see me. I'm going to, down to verse 16. And again, a little while, and you will see me, because I go to the Father. Now, for me, the single most important evidence that God has left for his children in a world that is filled with so many beliefs, so many unbeliefs, so many contradictions, so many religion. God has sent to his children the Holy Spirit. <coughs> Sorry. To live with them and to abide with them forever. The Holy Spirit is called the Spirit of Truth. So when Jesus was leaving, he sent the Comforter, the Holy Spirit, to abide with us. So he did not leave us as orphans. He did not leave us to be uncertain. He sent the Holy Spirit. And that is what a lot of people don't understand. The Holy Spirit was sent to dwell in the heart of of the Christian believer. Those and a Christian is a follower of Christ. And Christ is the anointed one, the Messiah. That's what that means. So in a world where that's dominated by so many confusion or so much confusion so much be different beliefs don't you think it is only reasonable that God would have sent His Holy Spirit to be our evidence? And you know how I always identify the Holy Spirit for people who may be wondering, what is the Holy Spirit? Well, if you look at electricity, brothers and sisters, electricity is not something that you can see with your naked eyes. You will see a piece of wire attached to a light post. You don't know whether it is 
um, live or it is dead. You don't know if you touch it or it will electrocute you or not, but you know it's there. It's a possibility that the electricity is in that wire. So don't touch it because it has power to kill you. But you can't see to their naked eyes. That's how the Holy Spirit is. And then again, Wi-Fi that we use on our phones. Wi-Fi is there all around the house. When you drive away from the house, you lose the signal, the Wi-Fi, the invisible signal. But can you see Wi-Fi? No, you can't. But you know it is there. Well, likewise, the Holy Spirit, angels, God, God is a spirit. That's what the Bible says. Angels are ministering spirits. We are the only one who is manifested in the flesh. But we do have a spirit. The Bible talks about that too. Human beings have a spirit in us. There's a spirit, the spirit, the natural spirit, the spirit of man. And so you have the spirit of God. So this world is not just a physical, tangible world. It has invisible properties. And I wish people would understand that. So you will never see the Holy Spirit. But you can be occupied, possessed. Possessed. I use the word possessed. In a positive way. You can be possessed with the spirit of man, which is natural. You can be possessed with the spirit of the living God, which is, which is spiritual. Or you can be possessed with a demon, which is also an invisible, ugly, demonic spirit that causes people to do wrong. So today, I just thought I would share that with you. That the Holy Spirit, I did not elaborate on point by point in the passage, but I just wanted to say to people, one of the reasons why God, uh, we don't doubt the existence of God is through the Holy Spirit. We don't doubt the Bible because the Holy Spirit is there as our teacher and he leads us into the things of God. And when you accept the Holy Spirit, and he lives with you, he will automatically show you the truth, because he's the spirit of truth. He will convict you of truth. That's what it says. He's the spirit of truth. He will convict the world of judgment. He will convict the world of sin. Yeah? So, brothers and sisters, and he's the spirit of peace. He gives the peace of God in the heart of the believers. It's the anointing we're talking about. And that Holy Spirit will get away all the confusion. The Spirit of Truth will lead you away from all idol worship, all falsehood, all the things that are against God and lead you into truth, not error, not falsehood, not idolatry, but he will lead you to the living God who created heaven and earth. I want to stop there. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that you were blessed, and I hope that you will ask God to let the Holy Spirit reign supreme in your heart and your life. But you've got to repent of sins, turn away from sin, accept the Son, Yeshua, some say Jesus Christ, as your Lord and Savior, you got to be baptized in water, which is a symbol of the death, burial, and resurrection, which is when you baptize, you go under the water, burying the old man, the wicked man, the sinful man, that man that keeps on taking the name of God in vain, that man that is doing um, evil and doing wrong. Bury that one, it's symbolic gesture to say, I'm done with that kind of life. And when you rise up, you're ready to walk as a new person. You're resurrected and you will walk in the newness of life with the Holy Spirit abiding in your life. That gives you peace, the peace of God. I'll leave it there again. Uh, take care of yourselves until my next 
inspiring devotion. Bye-bye, everyone. Please share this with somebody. Thank you.